Did you know that Tucker Carlson is the richest television host on the planet? Yes, he was earning an annual salary of $45 million from Fox News. Tucker has exited Fox News, but Fox News will be paying him $25 million, compensation for an early exit. But wait, that's not all. Tucker Carlson received a $190 million inheritance money from his parents. He has over $50 million in annual income. That is some insane money. Do you think this guy deserves to be worth that kind of money? Come with us as we dive into the life of the controversial reporter guy and his new net worth. As a popular host on Fox News, Tucker Carlson has cultivated quite an impressive net worth over the years. While not everyone loves Tucker, he's gained respect from all areas of the political spectrum due to his boldness. He's not afraid of confrontation and has proved this time and time again. It's clear that he's not afraid to admit when he's lost an argument but still won't back down from one nonetheless. Being brave is a sign that someone can move up in this world. His drive and education have resulted in him moving up through the journalist world, culminating in earning a regular gig as a host on Fox News. His show is one of the most popular on all of television, which is where the majority of his net worth has come from. Tucker has been a spokesperson for Fox News for a while, but who exactly is he? From fly fishing to fancy cars? Here's everything to know about Tucker. Early life. Tucker Carlson comes from a wealthy family background. His father, Richard Carlson, was a businessman who established the cable TV company Clear Channel Communications. His mother, Lisa McNear Carlson, was a writer and editor. Carlson inherited a significant amount of money from his parents when they died. Tucker Carlson was born in 1969 in San Francisco, California. He is the eldest of two children. He attended multiple colleges, including St. George's Boarding School in Rhode Island. According to The Week, after college, Carlson turned to a career in journalism after being rejected by the CIA in 1991. Carlson's journalism career began as a fact-checker at Policy Review and afterward became a sentiment author at the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. In 1995, he entered the Weekly Standard and questioned Governor George W. Bush for Talk Magazine in 1999. Carlson's print journalism career contained assistance to magazines like Esquire, The New Republic, New York Magazine, Reader's Digest, Slate, The New York Times Magazine, and The Daily Beast. Carlson's first appearance on television was in 1995 when he was interviewed on the trial of O.J. Simpson. While not everything from his childhood city has stuck with him, he still holds a love for a lot of the music and culture that hails from there. He also lived in places like San Diego, Nevada, and Vermont, but the latter two were mainly vacation homes. Carlson is married to his wife Susan, which he wedded in 1991 and now they have four children. Before we proceed, please Tajay just one second to support my channel. By subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up, this little gesture will go a long way to help me serve you better. Most importantly, join the conversation and share with us in the comments what you think about Tucker Carlson and all the controversies surrounding him. Why was Tucker Carlson fired from Fox News? Tucker Carlson reveals what he claims to be real reason he was fired from Fox News. Tucker Carlson has claimed that his firing from Fox News was part of the $787.5 million defamation settlement between the network and Dominion voting systems. In a new book, the ousted host says that Fox agreed to take me and my show off the air as a condition of the Dominion settlement, according to The Guardian. Mr. Carlson told biographer Chadwick Moore that the network had to settle the case after Dominion sued Fox for airing lies about the company in relation to former President Donald Trump. Mr. Carlson claims that he wasn't fired, just that his show was taken off the air. All Seasons Press, the publisher of Mr. Moore's book titled Tucker, has said that it's based on hundreds of hours interviews with Carlson, his family, colleagues, acquaintances, and enemies. Mr. Carlson was the top broadcaster in primetime before being removed from the lineup garnering millions of viewers attracted by his far-right diatribes. Following his departure, he has since started broadcasting on X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, prompting a dispute with Fox, where he remains contracted. Dominion has rejected that Mr. Carlson was ousted as part of its settlement with Fox News. Mr. Moore has included the denial from Dominion in the book, stating that a lawyer for the company wanted to make clear personally that Dominion made no requests or demands whatsoever regarding Mr. Carlson's employment with Fox or his appearance or non-appearance on Fox News, according to The Guardian. Similarly, Fox has categorically rejected the notion that Mr. Carlson's ouster was connected to the defamation suit. Mr. Carlson claimed in conversations with Mr. Moore that he didn't make any claims about Dominion that would be cause for libel. The real question now is, who is lying? and who is telling the truth. On the 24th of April, Mr. Carlson thought he was set to receive a call from Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott 
to offer congratulations on the sixth anniversary of his program moving to the 8 p.m. time slot. I was first confused and then shocked, he states in the book. It was just, we're taking you off the air. No explanation why, and they've let me guess ever since. That's literally all I know. I asked if I violated my contract. They said, no, I'm not fired. I'm still under contract. He goes on to suggest that political pressure coming out of D.C. could have led to him being canceled. He added that Mr. Murdoch and his son, Lachlan Murdoch, the co-chair of News Corp, definitely didn't like his views. What is Tucker Carlson's new net worth? According to the Baltimore Sun, Tucker got his first big break as a journalist when he interviewed former President George W. Bush for the celebrity magazine Talk. While the interview didn't paint Bush in a positive light, that wouldn't stop Tucker from gaining fame as a right-wing columnist. According to the Washington Post, Tucker would then go on to write for acclaimed media establishments such as Esquire, The Daily Beast, and The Wall Street Journal. Despite generally having his views aligned with conservatives, Tucker actually got his television start on CNN. He still did represent right-wing politics, however, on their shows The Spin Room and Crossfire. It wasn't until 2009 that Tucker got his job with Fox News. After multiple world-changing allegations towards former Fox News host Bill O'Reilly and Fox News founder Roger Ailes, Tucker stood tall as the new face of Fox News. All of this had led to Tucker having a $30 million net worth at the time with has now significantly increased to $380 million as of today. Most of this has come from being the host of Tucker Carlson Tonight, but some of that has come from his collection of books as an author. What was Tucker Carlson's salary from Fox News? Tucker Carlson earns an annual salary of $35 million US dollars from Fox News. In addition to this, he earns $6 million from Fox News for his podcast channel. This has immensely contributed to Tucker Carlson net worth and wealth. Due to his ever-growing popularity, Tucker Carlson net worth is likely to go upwards 500% in next few years. Tucker Carlson assets and investments. Tucker Carlson owns over 13 real estate properties, 11 cars, and six luxury yachts. Tucker Carlson's assets also include cash reserves of over $100 million. Tucker Carlson also owns an investment portfolio of 25 stocks that are valued at $65 million. A few of the stocks owned by Tucker Carlson are Pfizer, Walmart, Amazon, Tesla, and ExxonMobil. Tucker Carlson's real estate portfolio. Florida has become a popular moving spot for people of all ages. This includes Tucker, whose primary residence is on Gasparilla Island in Southwest Florida. According to Miami Herald, his home was in the path of 2022's Hurricane Ian, but the storm never affected his home. Switching palms for pines, Carlson's Florida properties are contrasted by a humble home in Maine's Bryant Pond. The former Fox News host has reportedly spent decades summering in the Maine town, having owned his own property there since 2020. Carlson first dropped $2.9 million in 2020 on a Boca Grande estate. At two 870 square feet, the house features four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and one half bathroom. The 1960s home features terrazzo floors and cypress wood decor, as well as a separate one-bedroom, one-bathroom guest cottage. Two years later, as reported by Dirt.com, Carlson purchased the house next door for a whopping 5.5 million US dollars. Built in 1969, the two 812 square foot home features three bedrooms and three bathrooms. Carlson previously owned two homes in Washington DC as well, but has since sold the both. In 2017, he sold a four 800 square foot mansion for $2.4 million, and in 2020, he sold his second DC home for $3.9 million. According to CA Knowledge, Tucker has 13 real estate properties overall. Not much about his other properties is known. Does Tucker Carlson have a cool car collection? Tucker indeed has an insane car collection, something many fans might not know about the usually modest celebrity. Tucker might not spend much money on his homes, but he does like to buy really nice cars. According to Info Net Worth, Tucker has amassed a car collection that includes an $80,000 BMW 440i, $75,000 Lexus RC 350, $53,000, Audi S5, $190,000, Porsche Panamera, $325,000, Mercedes-Benz AMG, a $94,895, Cadillac CT6, a $333,686, Aston Martin DBS Superlegera, a $556,942 Lamborghini Aventador, and a $40,000 Genesis G70. Luxury watches owned by Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson was born into a family of wealth. His father is a multimillionaire. Despite this, Tucker Carlson has worked hard over the years and earned his means through his business ventures and media engagement. The watches he owns includes a $70,000 Arnold & Son, 
a $90,000 Omega, $135,000 Zenith, $160,000 Gerard Perigo, a $19,000 Bramont, and a $12,000 Bell & Ross. What other hobbies does Tucker Carlson partake in? Retirement is going great so far. The Daily Mail reported that Carlson told reporters outside his home is Florida earlier this week when asked about departure from the television station. An outdoor hobby that Tucker partakes in is called fly fishing. It's not very popular, but it's one of Tucker's favorite things to do. It's not quite fishing, but it is a similar activity. Just like traditional fishing, it involves catching smaller fish for sport. However, the methods to catch the fish are completely different. Tucker has discussed his fly fishing hobby in interviews and has been recorded visiting a Montana fly fishing store. How much money has Tucker Carlson spent on his obsession with the Grateful Dead? It's not surprising that Tucker's favorite music group is the progressive rock band, the Grateful Dead. He did grow up in San Francisco after all, but how much of a fan is he? According to Tucker himself, he is a massive, massive fan. There are pictures of Tucker meeting musician Jerry Garcia, there have been interviews with band members, and Tucker's even included the band in some of his biographical moments. According to Variety, he's attended over 70 concerts of the band, which certainly adds up to a lot of money. Lastly, Carlson's definite salary and diverse career ventures accentuate his noteworthy mark in the media landscape. The current debates flashed by Texas AG Ken Paxton's back pay proposal on Carlson's show shed light on the intricacies of public administrators' earnings and highlight the media's vital part in maintaining clarity and accountability. We have come to the end of today's video, but before you go, please support our channel by subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. This little gesture will go a long way to help us serve you better. Share with us in the comments what you think about Tucker Carlson and all the controversies surrounding him. See you our next video. I love you.